good afternoon to you. Ah, new camera or different camera, HD. This one means I can't really see myself, so I'm hoping that I, my head doesn't disappear. you would probably be quite glad. Um, this is, um, thank you for the responses to the, to the video I did yesterday, or put up yesterday, the one with uh, Curtails, the open C tuned tune. A whole bunch of people seem quite interested in that. So, I thought what I'd do is I'd just run through how I go about playing that, but it's just as much, this is just as much to give you guys and girls ideas of what you can do with this tuning, um, and how easy it is to make it sound really nice, and a couple of little tips and tricks. <coughs> Excuse me, so again, um, open C tuning, from thick to thin strings, C, G, C, G, C, E. Near enough. The basis of this, this, this tune curtails is the groove. Um, with or without a thumb pick. And what we're going for is, so I'll just, I'm just going to hold the A string. I'm going to refer to these strings as the as Norton Standard Tuning, you know, E, A, D, G, B, E, even though I just told you what they are. So I'm going to have my fifth fret on my A string. That gives me a, a C, another C, and another C. This means we can set the groove up. Can you see? We put a slap. first finger really doing and I've got this this finger or these two fingers just smacking on the strings here to give me that snare drum so a good way to practice this thumb slap thumb pick Oh, whatever. Thumb, slap, thumb, pick. <laughs> thumb. <laughs> you can see how it works. Basically, you get a group. simple and the tune on this is really simple okay so we're going to start on the A string ninth fret then tenth fret that's it open G string then we hit the D string ninth and tenth fret yeah so again uh, A string ninth fret A string tenth fret G string open yeah D string 9th fret, D string 10th fret, then I think we do B string, 10th fret, 9th fret, then G string 9th fret, 10th fret, 12th fret. But the thing is, it's very. Uh, it's E string, 12, uh, 10, 
ninth no three string twelve but that's basically the tune when we get to the top bit it's just so again we're looking at twelfth and tenth fret on the on the E and the B twelfth tenth twelfth tenth but it might be a ninth in there So the tune itself is really simple, so you've just got this, you've got this groove. Mess about, get something that feels groovy, and that tune then gets superimposed over the top. So all you have to really do is, once you've got that groove going, is just concentrate on... It's a laugh, all right. So, you got that just about getting that groove going, you know. The other part. Tuning. One of the great things about this tuning is that every other string, pretty much, you've got a G, a, sorry, a C, a G, then another C, then a G, then a C. So if you play these two strings, you miss one out, you can fret them on the same fret, for example, the third, fifth, seventh, whatever that one is, and the same on the next strings, because they're both Gs. And the next two. Which means that whole section. All I'm doing is I'm holding uh, ninth fret. I can never remember what that one is with the dot. I should have a number nine on there instead. Um, ninth fret on the A string and ninth fret on the G string. And that shape, those two fingers, just get slid all over the place. shape I've just jumped them over to a string so third fret on bottom string and D string. And that's it and you can go mad with that. C tuning. I mean, you, you get some sort of groove going, thump it makes it nice. And you can... Put it all together, and that's what you get.
mess around with those octave shapes, yeah? Any fret you like. Well, as long as it you know, doesn't sound too strong, some will sound better than others. And skip a string and then another finger on the same fret, okay? And you've got that right across the bottom five, bottom, um, however many strings, that's five strings. I'm getting confused, I'm moving it through. There you go, short and sweet, HD, because you're worth it. There'll be beer next time, and uh, Dave will have a bit more to say, so catch you on the next one. Cheers, see you later.